It has to do with the uh, issue of zakat. Zakat. Yeah. Yes. I will take the modern. You see, uh, on zakat also, I have spoken in depth, in detail, covering all possible aspects. I don't say I have exhausted the subject because as the time grows, more uh, situations <laughs> will appear and zakat will have to be readdressed according to the new arising situations. But in principle, I have taken the position that the Holy Quran does not lay down any uh, ratio for zakat anywhere. And this is very significant. If the Holy Quran speaks of, the, of, 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 of Salat and specifically mentions Salat in the morning, Salat in the evening, Salat in the afternoon and so on and so forth, five times prayers are in fact mentioned in the Holy Quran. Zakat, which is a very important system of tax collection, not tax but collection, which is uh, essential for the survival of Ummah, this is left open without any specification. So I have inferred from that that this that ratio of zakat will be determined from time to time by those who represent Islam, who are in the authority of uh, uh, not just state authorities, but hold some religious authority and whose authority is accepted in the state. Only those people can give judgment on these issues and zakat will continue, but the ratio may change. It's a long discussion. I have proved why from the decisions of Ahadul we must infer the same thing. So you better also ask some MD friend to provide you a copy of this cassette there will be maybe many, but this um, uh, subject can be uh, collected from different uh, cassettes and put together in one single cassette. And uh, perhaps that would be done for you if you write to meet some officers, the representatives here, and uh, inshallah they will help you in that. Right? And I, I, I appreciate both these questions are very important. And every Muslim must understand because without it he can't understand what is happening in the world of islam today please